Alrighty, folks, we are back with week four, number one for Tell Me Why. I actually really like this game, so this is this is a good thing. Hold on, I turn the volume down. Way too loud, way too loud. We are at a jelly alert level zero. He's asleep in bed. Tally alert level zero. She's wandering around in Jello's workroom, so. Alright, let's go find the Runin brother. Tyler, where oh we have X's. Alright, Tyler, what are we doing? Once again though, life is great. I got my hubby, that's all I care about. Alright, so we got D and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. And then we're gonna come can we why okay, oh okay. I was that's moving the wrong. Whose skip. votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? He's having fun. He's having fun. That's okay. All right, Tyler. Mr. Runin, where are you? Oh, there he is. Oh, wait, hold on. We have wood carp. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. Oh, no idea. I don't recall. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? I feel like I've been here before. Is that it? I don't want to press talk until I get all the like, little stuff done. Okay. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? And I guess we just grow old and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <sighs> so before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! He doesn't get a pass just because this is uncomfortable for you. I'm not giving him a pass. It's just... hard. This whole damn situation is hard. You think I liked learning all that shit about Tessa? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? Um, I like this view. We're not going to be mean to Tyler. Her hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. So, you really want to live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in a cave, speaking for the trees? I do. Is it really that hard to imagine? Oh yeah? Who do you think's gonna come visit you out there, in the middle of nowhere? Well, I was hoping you would. Did I fuck it up? Did I just make the wrong decision saying that? No, I don't think so. Uh... You feeling that, Ty? Yeah. Found you! 
North Star! Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. We look like little freaks. No one else could play with us. I think we're going to go with the X. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, nah, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure? I'll try my best. Weirdly enough, when I was a kid, I had a brother and a sister and us. So I have to warn you, I'm not sure we're getting any answers out of Eddie. He won't have a choice. We're not 10 years old anymore. Oh wait, hold left trigger. He's overprotective. He tries to protect me from everything. <laughs> Occupational hazard. He was always so worried about how I was left out at school, so he'd make me throw these huge birthday parties and invite everyone. And they'd all have to show up because you were the chief's daughter? Bingo. But then they didn't actually talk to me, so I felt like a stranger in my own house. I know the feeling. Is that it? Wait, hold on. I can't believe the old cannery's still in business. Plenty more fish in the sea. For now. Not anymore so much. Not even in the years since this came out. I can't believe the old cannery is still in business. Plenty more fish in the sea. For now. Yeah, I grew up with two siblings, and from the age of like 11 or so until 17 when I met Jello, I didn't actually really look for a lot, of, like any other friends outside of my siblings, except for I had one friend that that's how I met Jello. But, but yeah, I totally get that being super close to your siblings. Oh, so we're going to probably go see Eddie, I guess. So I guess I'll see folks there. Wait. No. Nothing? Okay. I'll see you there, folks. Hey! Look what I found! Oh, he's wandering all over. Oh my god. Killing me, sir. Killing me. Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There. Looking better already. You're right. Way better. You know it's a TA. Good for, good for Tyler. Arborglyph. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. 
I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. <coughs> morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. It's because of me. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. Hey. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? Happy to see Allison. It's been good to see Allison. <laughs> she's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say... Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts... Man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I, um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. Oh. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE... They need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from. And will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Oh, hello kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything alright? Your uncle said you two were gonna be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, <coughs> two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. You can yes, you, you got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. Well, hello, Officer Wilson. Dr. Torres. Tyler Ronan. Good to see you again. Yes, You've she gotten was. tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, uh, Henderson, welcome home. July 16th, 2009. Henderson. Thanks. It's been a while. Yes, so, what brings you two around? My ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has... Uh, we just can't get enough of the fluorescent lights and smell of old takeout. <laughs> oh, come on, it's not that bad. So is there anything I can help you with? Busy day around here? No. Well, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. <laughs> I thought the chief was going to rip that alarm right off the wall. So I got you. Okay, so I personally am... People hate it. I can be pretty positive, even in the worst situations. So that's why you see me pick better answers like that. Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m., but you couldn't stay to give a statement? Um, I had to be in surgery at night. Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. 
Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? <laughs> of course. We get the of truth course. ourselves. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. All right. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mailbox. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m. All right, you let's take a look at what's going on here. Um, That's just the map of the outdoor area. I had nine. I was already running behind. Of course. It says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital? That's right. Sure nope, that's mailbox pen that we don't it need that. Is. What's your usual working hours? I'm a surgical resident. Oh, yeah, we don't I need any of that. Go on, you're out of there. I'm basically always All right. on call. Ah, yeah, of course. But listen, we really appreciate you coming. They said fire alarm. Someone's going to get to the fire alarm to get to his. Hmm. Oh, Tally has just came over here to see me. And she's now kind of annoyed that I'm not going back to bed because I normally get up and then sometimes go back to bed. All right, I guess I'll just talk to Allison. Is that what I need to do? Could you go through the full details of your morning routine, Doctor Torres? Of course. All right, looking, looking, looking. Five and got ready for work. Isabella's father was coming over to pick her up at six. Oh no. boy, fire drills. So Everybody's favorite way to slack off. Hey. Is that and your desk? We were eating. Huh? I, I didn't think so. I hadn't grabbed Move on. the night before. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Asked to come with me, so I helped her into her coat and boots before we. All right. Went. Can I talk to? It was Allison. Still quite Allison. Dark, but she no. She spotted it anyway. Someone. Okay. Something was going through our mailbox. We're gonna go My over here because there's gotta be something that activates door. what I need to do but here. Isabella is certain of what she saw. Um, she says. Who designed this building? MC Escher? Leia is totally bizarre. Oh. Dallas Crossing Police Station evacuation map, ground floor. Oh, we're doing the, the fire alarm. Okay, where's the... Let's do it. Let's see if we can do it. I don't know if I'll be allowed to. I don't even know what I'm doing here. So, let's go back in. Okay. Where's Isabel? I'm gonna go upstairs. She's back. Hey, what are you two up to over We're there? We're wandering. Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency. Lake water. You know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Check in and build, check the building map. Maybe we can check out that map of the building near reception. Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby. Now. Oh shit. Okay, I guess you have to go through actions to get there. I didn't know that. I just assumed with him mentioning. Where is Isabella now? At school. She's back at her father's house for the week. Okay. Alright. Let's see. There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Okay, I guess that's what we're doing. Oh wait, right, sweet. Not really. Not really. No. Right. Let's go.
Oh god, here we go. Shit, 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 shit. Old incel, I... Where am I supposed to go? I don't... Oh. That pile of paperwork? What about it? I could tip it over. Kind of messy, but I mean, sure. Jesus, Tyler, what happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there. Although having worked in a secure facility... Right. I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. You don't... You don't leave anything that's important like that out if you have... Well, at least that's how we're taught with the classified training, secret document training for the Department of Defense when we work there. Didn't she say go... Oh, we have to go outside and around. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, I guess we'll go outside and around. <coughs> Here we go. Actually, let's go outside and then we might stop it right here because You head now? Uh I'm just gonna get gonna I need to smoke. Yeah, I need to smoke. You should think about quitting. Only gets harder the longer you do it. Yeah, I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop too. I actually like Officer Wilson. <sighs> There's winter air. Okay, I'm by the door. Come on. Okay, folks, we're gonna wrap it up here because we're really close to the end. I don't want to start a whole new set of scenes. I'm sure that's gonna happen. I will see you folks next time. Until then, take care.